Josh, I mean, I, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys have covered us a long time, seen seen wins like this, not so much down 17 uh, and coming back and winning, but just it, it, like this, you know, get a chance to end, find a way to win, find a defense gets a stop. I mean, our defense held them to three in the second half, which is which is tough to do. I was so aggravated in the third quarter when we didn't do anything with those drives and they got a stops. Because I was just, I said, we can't do this. You know, like we got to score touchdowns. We can't thank our D. Not that we don't believe in the guys. We can't depend on them to get to hold them to three in the second half. But they did it, um, and uh, it was huge. It was a huge red win. I, I was sitting there, standing there at the gates, and I can't remember what the time was in the game. <clears throat> There's still a little ways to go. Maybe it was 27-17. I don't know when it was. And I said, Hey, you know what game this is, reminds me of? And I think it's going to end up. And I said, Never mind. You'll never guess. And he looked at me, and I said, well, I'll go ahead and tell you. And I said, Cincinnati. And he was starting to say it as I was saying it. Cincinnati, 06. And because uh, it was. We were getting worn out. And it was, you know, that offense in Cincinnati with Carson. Those guys were throwing it up and down the field. And then this, late in the game, we turned it on. Our defense got a couple turnovers, and we won. It was a lot like that one today. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, we hadn't won two games in a row in a long time. Um, we hadn't had a road win in a long time. And um, and we've lost a lot of games that have been close. A lot of games like this, we've we've lost. Not not the disastrous ones like we've had this year. I just mean close games like this. Somebody has the ball late in a two-minute drive. We've lost them the last two years. So it's huge, and especially with Kansas City and Oakland winning. I know it's still early. I'm not necessarily trying to keep up watching everything they do every week. But Kansas City and Oakland winning. Denver plays tomorrow night. It keeps us right there in the thick of it. And we get to go back to Denver on Sunday, and they play tomorrow night. So. Um, Win two in a row. It would be nice to have a plane ride home with a win for a change. Unreal run. I mean, that's a stop. That's kicking a field goal right there. We'd have had to kick it right there, fourth and three or two, with now what? There's a minute left at that point, or a little bit close to it. So that was a huge run. And, you know, I, I was afraid. I was, I was really sick, hit my stomach on the fourth down when we had to go for it because I – I was I, I, I checked to the second down run on second and three. And the third down run, I was trying to go fast. You know, I was looking over to see if they wanted to change. I was like, there's no way we're not going to get a yard, you know. And so I was sick that we got to a fourth down. Gates made a big play there on that one to convert. But you saw how many guys contributed, how many guys caught the ball. We didn't run it great there for a span. I was aggravated the way we were running it there at one point. I was saying, shoot, let's just throw it every play. You know, because we just we were, we were getting second and nine. You know, we weren't really getting anything on first down, but we hung with it and popped some runs there on the on the a couple drives in the third quarter and fourth quarter. Finished it off with a with the run there. Got a first down. Gates made a big play, big play on the second and long, right before the game went in field goal. Well, <clears throat> the third and one stop was huge. I thought they were going to punt, um, but. You know, I, what? I mean, if they get it, it's a great call. If they don't, they don't. You know, I know we had been hot there in the second half, so maybe they thought they weren't going to stop us either way. And so let's go for it now. And uh, our defense, gosh, I mean, holding them to three points in the second half is awesome. And, um, you know, Denzel with a huge interception on the one. He's battling. Y'all see, I mean, we're shorthanded in a sense, losing, you know, losing Reed and losing Mager. I mean, you don't dress but 46 guys. So the guys had to step up and, and make big plays, and they did all day. Yeah, we flipped it. It wasn't quite the 17-point deficit that Kansas City had with 10 minutes to play, but it was a 17-point deficit nonetheless. And, uh, it's just, you know, I know it's easy to say this after a win. You know, obviously everybody can say this after a win, but we came in at halftime and kind of, I mean, I must have said it seven or eight times. We're going to win the game. You know, we're going to win this game. And, you know, yeah, of course I say that now, but I really was saying that, and I think it was just kind of that no panic really belief that somehow we're going to find a way. In the years we've been on runs and have been good, a good team, we, we've done that. We did that. We were just kind of like, I don't know how, but we're going to win the game. And then we've, we believed that and just kept chipping away, and that's what we did today. <clears throat> yeah, I ran over. That was my mom and dad and brother and sister and uh, brother's wife and little niece and many others. But... Um, not only my folks, it was exciting to go over there with them uh, and say hello and 
they were excited to finally come on a road trip and where, a game we won. But so many Charger fans in the stadium. I mean, so many. Really, I mean, and I don't know if y'all heard it, but the Let's Go Chargers chant, it kind of started picking up late in the, in the fourth quarter. I mean, it was, there, there was, there was, it kind of gave me the chills a little bit. It was blue and gold everywhere, yellow. And it was, so that was, uh, it was awesome. And then to win like that uh, made it that much more special.